Hi everyone, I'm Pat Cosentino, Superintendent of Region 12. We are here today with another group of teachers. These four wonderful educators are new to Chapag, so we're happy to welcome them. I'll have them introduce themselves and uh, we'll move on from there. We will start with Noreen. Good morning. Uh, my name is Noreen Shea and um, originally I came from the uh, corporate world. I worked in corporate for 15 years working at Timex and ITT and then later went into education and I have been a public school educator for the past 16 years. It's wonderful. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. Next. My name is Amanda Koshel. Um, I'm a special education teacher here at Chapag. Last year I was a long-term sub and now this year, I have a position here at the high school and at Washington Montessori School and at Rumsey. So I service the private schools as well. Excellent. What, and you just recently got married. I just got married. So my new last name is Koshel, not Magnuson. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Hello. My name is Nicole Martone. I am the new ELA instructional leader and teacher here at Chapong. I have 15 years experience in education. I started out in, as an alternative school teacher for teacher in Hampton, and then I uh, worked for 11 years in a large city before coming here, and I look forward to being part of the community. Excellent, and John? Hello, my name is John Spear. I'm a business teacher here at Chapag, and I, uh, this is my 14th year of teaching. I actually taught at Chapag for five years, from 2007 to 2012. Went to New York for three years, and now I'm back, hopefully for good. Excellent. We're hoping you're back for good also. And the reason you left is because your position was, was cut. Correct. Uh, the position so, was cut, so yes. I took a full-time position in exactly. New York, always wanting to come back here. Right. So. so I just want people to know that you didn't just really nilly leave and then come back. Absolutely. So, yeah. But you also teach math, too. Am I right? I'm, I'm math certified as well. Excellent. Good. And that's important for us at Chapag. When you're a small uh, community, um, you like your teachers to be duly certified because this way, if numbers and enrollment does go down and sections go down, we can give you other classes to teach. So that's really important. Mm -hmm. So with that said, let's talk about your roles here at the school, um, what you're teaching, um, and, um, you know, what you've found that you have liked so far. You've been here, I guess, over two weeks, and you're still here, so that's always a good thing. And we'll start down with John this time and work our way this way. Okay. Um, I'm currently teaching Introduction to Business, Investing, and Skills 21. Next half, I add a section of Marketing as Excellent. well. Um, coaching cross country, girls varsity cross country. In nice. the winter, I believe I'll be coaching boys middle school basketball. And the thing I love about here and the reason I came back is just the students are very different from other schools that I've been in. The community support, the parental involvement, um, this idea that, you know, people are really involved in the education and it's just a great place to work. My colleagues, I, I like going to lunch, I like going to meetings just to see the people I work with. That's wonderful. Great. Excellent. Nicole? I teach American Studies here and I'm also the department leader for English, so I supervise staff as well. Um, what I really like here is that I was able to bring my leadership experiences from a large district here, and I'm, I like to help people, and I like the idea that I'm able to support the staff here in a positive way and help the staff grow. It's already a really great staff, a really great community, so I'm able to work with um, wonderful people and students. Um, what I really like about this particular school is that students get a lot of attention to their needs and a lot of support, which you won't find in larger districts. Mm -hmm. And so everyone is so, um, so so much more supported here, and it's really a great environment to work great. in. Great. Can you just tell everybody what American Studies is? Not everybody understands what that is. Okay, so um, it's American literature and uh, events in history that influence the writers. Um, throughout our history, um, and we also incorporate interdisciplinary activities um, and learning, such as art. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's good. very interdisciplinary, and um, the students get a, a very diverse experience, and we look at culture. Yeah, and you know, it fits in with the Chapag, really, the, the mission of being interdisciplinary and, and really trying to make those connections for kids. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a great uh, course to offer. So excellent. Welcome. Amanda, Amanda's a little ill. She said, if you have a little coughing, that's Amanda. That's okay. 
Um, I co-teach transitions class, which is like a life skills class, first period. Uh -huh. um, and then second and third, I do a core reading and a math strategies class. Okay. And that is with four students for all three classes who have a wide variety of needs. Mm -hmm. um, pretty s profound disabilities, um, but it's important to keep them interacting with each other because that's a huge goal for mine of this year, social sure. interactions. Absolutely. Um, being creative with the students is always good, you know, keeping them motivated. Um, one thing that I love that we're able to do this year is to go down to the market every Monday. They're going to be making their own lunches three days a week. Mm -hmm. The kids, um, it's a really important skill for them to have. So we're going to be doing that. And it's, it's a great school here. It's, you know, all the staff are so welcoming. And it's a small community. And everyone's able to learn from one another. Yeah. And I went to school in New York and very, very big schools where I soon taught. Sure. And I wasn't able to really communicate as well as I am here with all the other teachers. That's great. So Excellent. So it's been great. <laughs> and Noreen? I am the uh, reading lab specialist here. So I get to work with small groups of struggling readers to help them, support them, and to uh, develop them and reinforce reading skills with them so that they can become amazing readers and be, be confident in their reading skills. And I, as well as the other my other colleagues here, um, just love the sense of community here at the school, uh, the, the fact that you can work with small groups of students and really give them that very close, individualized attention after having come from a large district mm -hmm. that, that was in a luxury that was we were able to afford to, to other students. So I'm really happy to be able to do that, and I'm very, very pleased and grateful to be teaching in the district. Good. Excellent. So you went through the teacher orientation, and you went through our convocation, and you've been through some PD already. You know, what has um, um, hit you or made an impact so far, uh, Amanda? Um, I think the technology aspect. Um, mm -hmm. We did a whole day, day of um, technology for the students, especially with my kids. Um, learning about, you know, when is it necessary to begin seeing if they need assistive technology or not to help them. Okay. So that's been great. And meeting with our consult, Nicole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's been helpful. And we haven't met yet, but we're going to have the opportunity to do that. So Excellent. that's probably hit me. Excellent. John? I think the, uh, the availability of the support system. If I have a question, I, I ask someone and they either answer it or they tell me who to go to. And I usually have my questions answered in just you know a matter of minutes or hours at the most. Sure. Whereas at my old school district, which had 4,800 high school students, it might take two weeks to find out how to get your website up and running. Sure, or, sure, sure. How to use a certain technology. So. That's wonderful. Noreen? I would have to also agree that it's the technology and the support that you get here from um, your colleagues. And um, it, if you have any question, everyone is willing to reach out and, and help and do whatever they can to, to assist you. That's wonderful. Nicole? I agree with the technology here being amazing. The students are so fortunate to have the resources that they have <clears throat> coming from an urban district. Chapag is light years ahead. Uh, these students are working in relevant classrooms that they're going to be able to compete globally in, in our uh, economy and know how to um, do well out there when they graduate because they have these amazing resources. Um, and the things that we use as college instructors, I also teach at Noctic Valley Community College um, and we use Blackboard. Um, the students have mm -hmm. Moodle, which is very similar. They have Tapara. Um, and so they're already getting these college-like experiences at the high school level with them all having Chromebooks. That's so fortunate so that they can um, be in real time with me, pulling up things from the website. So um, it's really quite amazing. Um, in terms of the support here, I also think it's really quite amazing that nobody goes under the radar. The students here get all the attention that they need and support that they need from multiple people, um, whether it's a para, or an EL, ELL teacher, or the guidance counselor, everyone is so involved and the communication is excellent. So I yeah. really like working here and I think the students are in a really great place. Well, that's great. That's wonderful to hear because we work very hard mm -hmm. at Chapag to make that happen. Mrs. Gallo, Mrs. Ferrer, and the whole staff really work well together. That's wonderful. So let's just do a little uh, 
interesting facts about yourselves. Why don't you tell us about your family or where you, you live or what you like to do on the weekends or free time, starting with, let's see, John, we'll start that way again. Okay. I currently live in Newburgh, New York. That hopefully is changing in the next six to eight weeks. So okay. Good for I you. leave my house at 5.45 in the morning to get here every morning. Um, I have two dogs, a one-year-old pit bull and a 14-year-old corgi that my favorite thing to do is just to go hiking with them or take them to a lake. Very nice. Beautiful. Uh, Nicole? I live in Cheshire, um, and it's a little bit of a drive, but it's so well worth it being in such a great school. I'm married with two children. I have a seven-year-old and a four-year-old. Oh, nice. They can be very busy with their, yeah. their schedules. Um, and on my free time, I am a runner, um, an aspiring runner, I should say, but I... <laughs> I love giving back to the community and helping others, and this is my way of giving back to the community by supporting organizations as well as giving to myself by staying fit as best I can with my busy life. Um, I'm also a doctoral student. I'm working on my fourth degree, um, and one of the things that I think is so important in my life is to challenge myself not only professionally but personally and, um, and be able to always be learning and I think that's what is um, so great about teaching is that you're always learning and trying to improve yourself professionally as mm -hmm. well as personally. That's wonderful. Where are you going for your doctoral uh, degree? Leslie University in Cambridge, okay. Massachusetts. Very nice. Good for you. Thank you. So I am currently living in Brookfield but I'm from Long Island. Okay. Um, I did my grad school at Queens College. Me too. Did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so dual major, special ed, and um, childhood ed, um, but love the special ed route. Okay. Um, I like to travel. <laughs> I've been to Costa Rica, a bunch of the Caribbean islands. I hope to go to Europe. Very nice. Um, Good for you. <laughs> Wonderful, Mary. I'm from Naugatuck, and uh, it is also a little bit of a commute, but it's so well worth it, just like the others have, have mentioned uh, previously. I am married. I have two grown daughters, a 30-year-old and a 28-year-old. Um, I love to run also, okay, and um, I love to read, swim, pretty much do anything outside, garden, and spend a lot of time with my family as much as I as possible. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So now I'll just ask you some questions, fast questions you can, you know, answer uh, as fast as you can, starting with Amanda. Tell us your favorite uh, author or book. Um, currently, I'm loving The Hunger Games right now. Okay. So. And we'll go this way. <laughs> Uh, Nicole's next. I would say be uh, the most inspiring book would be The Last Lecture by Randy Posh. He oh. was a professor and he was dying of cancer. He knew he was dying of cancer and he decided to give a lecture to all of his students about his life experiences. And it was very powerful and motivating and um, quite, quite a read. Oh, really? <laughs> John? Mine is uh, Caddy for Life. It's about Tom Watson and his caddy who um, struggled with ALS and the relationship that they had. And Good read. Okay. Marie? And mine would have to be Touching Spirit Beer by Ben Michelson. Wow. Excellent. Okay. Now we'll start with Nicole. Nicole, um, what is your favorite thing to do when you're not working? To spend time with my children. Okay. I do family outings. Um, I just have one scheduled now with my brother and his family to the uh, Jack Lantern Blaze in historic Hudson Valley. Um, I, I try to do historical things and uh, events around locally if I can oh, nice. uh, with my family. Um, but it's a really great experience um, up in that area, okay. um, Sleepy Hollow yeah, and things sure. like that. So just scheduling time with my family to do those activities that we can't do dur during you know, the school year when we're so busy and making Wonderful. sure we find that time. Wonderful. John? Really spending time with my wife and my dogs. That's kind of we do everything together. That's so your thing. We hike every day. We work out That's together. That's wonderful. My wife and I, so yeah. That's great. Really, Noreen. <laughs> I have to say spending time with my family, going on family vacations, not just with my immediate family, but also with my, I'm still fortunate to have my parents who are both in their 80s, Very and nice. my sister and her family, and my brother and his family, we, cousins, we like to go on large family vacations together. That's wonderful. Amanda? Mm -hmm. 
Same as everyone else. <laughs> okay, there you go. Spending time with my husband, um, working out. We like to go on walks and runs together. Um, okay. We like to do little mini vacays, you know. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you had a chance at dinner with any historical person, uh, real or imaginary, and I throw these questions out, so I just so you know, they don't have time. They have to think on the top of their head. I'm going to start with Noreen. Who would it be? Um, I think George Washington. Okay. Cool. Okay. Princess Diana. Okay. I would say William Shakespeare. I want to know if he really wrote his plays. Oh, there you go. I'll go Ronald Reagan. Fun. Excellent. Did any of you see um, something rotten on Broadway? Because that is definitely um, the theme of that show. It's very funny. Hysterical show. You should see it. We'll look into it. All English teachers, all literary people would really like it. That's not my area of expertise, but uh, so I know some of the things went over my head, but it's really, really cool. Um, tell us your favorite TV show. Some of you may not even watch TV, so you could say that if that's it. No, I don't. I don't watch much TV. Usually, I would choose though to watch a mystery. Okay. I like the shows on um, HGTV, like the oh. home shows. And yeah. The house and sure. I, I like to always think of ways to improve my home. So. There you go. I like Master Chef. Okay. I think I, I right. like Gordon Ramsay and yeah. just watching the whole competition. John. Sure. Anything on ESPN. <laughs> okay, let's die. Okay, so that's a good question. Tell us your teams. Who are your favorite teams, John? My favorite football team is the Washington Redskins. Mm -hmm. I had an uncle that lived in uh, Washington, so we went down to visit him all the time, which is why the Capitals are my favorite hockey team. Okay. I like the Mets, who are going to clinch a playoff. Yeah, they are, I think. Much. Yeah. And the New York Knicks. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, so you have half and half. Yep. you New Yorker and uh, D.C. Oh, DC. Okay. Nicole? The Yankees. Oh, good, Nicole. I'm happy to hear it. <laughs> I like the Patriots. I was a Jets fan, and then my husband converted me oh, to that's the a Patriots, shame. but I like the Yankees. Okay. And I like the Yankees also. Um, my father-in-law is a former New York Yankee pitcher. So how are they? Who that is? Speck Shea from yeah. Naughty Tuck. He's also known as the Naughty Tuck Nugget, and mm -hmm. he's very fortunate. Um, there were times we got to meet Mickey Mantle, Whitey Ford, wow. Joe DiMaggio, um, Billy Zito. So, That's wonderful. Yeah, so it was wonderful. Excellent. So tell us, just to think about starting to wrap up, what are your goals for this year for your students? What do you hope, you know, in June when they leave that they've learned from you? Big picture. I, I would love for my students to walk away feeling very confident in their reading abilities and to be able to feel successful and um, to, to know to, when they need help, to ask when they, they need help, and to, feel, to know that they're supported when they, when they are, and uh, just to walk away and be very confident in, in their reading abilities. Good. Um, I want my students to become more independent. Um, and I also want them to feel like they can interact with other, other students. Um, oftentimes, they'll just, you know, keep to themselves and do their work. But sure, sure, it's okay sure. to have social interactions, especially Absolutely. with kids with disabilities. And, so, the, and the Chapag population, I have to say, is really um, very good at that. Yes. They are, you know, accommodating. Yeah. And, and all students are really welcome, um, mm -hmm. no matter what your disability or any issue that you may have. Exactly. They are part of the community. Great. Nicole? I would like my students to improve their reading and writing skills. They are already doing well, but I want them to do even better. Uh -huh. And I'd also like them to develop a love for literature and to leave saying, this is my favorite class. It may not happen, but I really <laughs> want to make it relevant for them and have them develop an appreciation for what I'm teaching. Great. And John? For my Skills 21 students, I'd like them to develop some level of digital literacy, whether mm -hmm. it's media that you use or research skills within that. And for my business students, I really like them to get an appreciation of the interconnections of the business world, the fact that some current event that comes over your Yahoo feed or your Facebook feed it is relevant to you. What's happening in Greece, what's happening in China affects you here in the United States. So I think right. my business students hopefully can take that away. And one of the things we're working on at Chapag is really having that career pathway in business and marketing um, so that the kids are really ready to move into that if that's an interest in college. So we really want to firm that up. So it really has been a wonderful show. Um, nothing to be nervous about. It, it, it 20 minutes goes fast, right? Oh.
Um, so we look forward to seeing you in the classroom, and we look forward to seeing all of the great work that you're going to do. Um, welcome to Region 12. We hope you're here for thank many, you. many years. And um, thank you for doing the show. So I did. <laughs> out there watching, um, these were four of our new educators at Chapak. And uh, we will continue to do more shows. Um, for more information about Chapag, you can always, and the region, you can visit our website, www.region-12.org. Uh, we want to remind you to practice an attitude of gratitude every day. We're very fortunate to live and work where we do. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.